Hello everybody, it is Amanda and I am back um, with a teacher planner video. So I filmed this same video two weeks ago um, with this planner. Um, this is the Erin Condren 2024-2025 uh, horizontal, horizontal layout teacher planner. It is the, what, eight and a half by 11, I guess, the full size. Um, so, I ordered this planner. I got the rose gold coil. I paid extra. I, you, uh, you know, I, I got, I got a different cover. I got the vegan leather cover. And I was so excited to get this, this, okay? So, I opened it up on camera and I was so just, just beside myself because I had intended to order the new vertical layout and when I opened it to that very front page and it said horizontal I went wait what and I thought um, that somewhere someone had messed up but no it was me I messed up I made the mistake I went back and looked and yes I did not click vertical I left it at horizontal because it defaults to the horizontal planner so, um, and I didn't change it to vertical. So, my boo-boo. This is the uh, 24, 25, both of them are. Um, so, I then, same day, same day, I went in and I ordered the vertical because I really, I wanted the vertical for a couple reasons. One, I just wanted to see it. Um, two, because I don't know that I'm gonna use this as a teacher planner. I think I'm gonna use my happy planner one as a teacher planner. And this one I'm going to use, or I could use this one as a happy planner and just, or as my teacher planner and just keep it. Um, mm, I'm still not decided. Um, but this one, um, I want to use for my blog and social media stuff. So that was why, because I needed the Saturday and Sunday and I needed just the way this one's laid out more so than this one. So quickly, I'm gonna take you through the horizontal and then uh, we'll look at the vertical um, because it is the new one. So the horizontal is just like the last, I don't know, I don't know how many years I've been getting the Erin Condren teacher planner, but um, really I don't notice a lot of things that have changed. It still has the all about me and the events and volunteers. This is the same in both planners. Um, uh, communication log which is two pages and as many times as I talk to parents we use class dojo where I'm at as many talk to times as I talk to parents this would not have covered at all so I do like class dojo in the fact that if I want to go through and print out our conversations and stuff and things we talked about I can do that so just saying that we have July 24 through December of 25 so we have the last six months of this year and then all of next year in here in our year plan you have January through December so yes this is a July through June planner but they keep it January through December on um, this part so you can lay out um, if you are like an elementary planner you can lay out your themes for each month um, I think last year I plugged in what read alouds I was doing because I did a different read aloud um, story every week for um, comprehension and for like our, our story of the week. Um, so I pick I picked those beforehand to make sure I had them all and then I, I plugged them in here so that way I knew what was coming every month that I could make sure that everything was good. Um, graphing I don't know I mean this is good like if you want to like lay out your room or if you want to do seating charts um, we just kind of moved people as we needed to and didn't I didn't map it out or whatever there's lots of things you can do with graph paper as you all know um, and then you have one two three full note sheets and then you know a half sheet uh, two third sheets and then a third down here is dates to remember for the month ahead you have the full month you have next month down here in the corner so you can look ahead a little bit and then you have the weekly pages so it starts july 1st these just have monday through friday and then you have six like sections so you, one two three four five six so if you have reading writing spelling math science social studies you know however you break up your day um 
you've got six subject or blocks or when I taught middle school math I had um, I had three blocks and a no I had four math blocks and a remedial session so like I planned like block one and then block two is planning so I use this for like my planning block and I would write in you know if I had a meeting or an IP or um, if I had something due or whatever I would write in what I needed to do and then block three block four block five block six um, and that worked out so we had block one was math block two was my planning block three was remedial and then four five and six were my other three math classes so that worked out great um, and then you have this whole column over here to do whatever you need so and this continues and then at the end of the month you have one two three and then you have your two quarters just notes and then your bottom dates to remember in the month ahead so you have three full like note pages and then you have this one that's a little over half before each month so if you need if you have like monthly faculty meetings or what have you if you're in certain um, committees and you need to take notes or whatever then you could do that I swear everybody takes their devices now and just keeps the notes in a Google sheet or something so the days of writing things on paper are sadly going by the wayside um, Here's August, and then your July days keep the blue, and then when August starts, you move into the yellow, and so you go, and this continues all the way through the end of the month. You have your one, two, three, and then your dates to remember. Um, this is another place that I did um, write in stuff that I wanted to make sure and cover in September. Um, themes or activities or um, like, you know, graphing apple colors you know what they like doing just different stuff maybe not specific dates but a lot of times i would write stuff in here that i wanted to make sure um to get the materials to have for class um so that's a good place to put those things september october is orange november is blue december is green january is kind of a teal um february is pink March is a light green. April is purple. May is peach. June is like green green, like emerald green. And then at the end, you have just two, like there's the end, and that goes into through July 4th. And then you have two note sheets, and then you have your checklist. You can add extra checklists. Um, a couple years ago, they had like a checklist book that you got like free with purchase if, um, if you know, you ordered like the first day or two. Um, and I've not used up it yet. So I just keep like tearing out the sheets at the end of the year and just keep on using it until I run out. So really, I didn't use these last year. Um, but anyway, and then you have uh, one, two three four uh, stickered pages you've got a two a front and back pocket on the folder and then in your you can get up, up to three of these poly things um, in here you have uh, some flags and some teardrops and then it's got if you want to put in uh, holidays. It's got July through December of 2024 and then you have the full year for 2025. I'm not sure why but you have the full year. They give you 18 months of holidays. So all of that comes with your planner. You also get a 20% off coupon anytime you place an order with Erin Condren on your next order if it's like within a certain time frame. So now oh and you also get this new bookmark um like snap in stencil um that's new this year which is great i love those i love their bookmarks all right so now this is the one i actually wanted not to say that i don't love the original because i've used it for years but for my purposes this year 
um, and what I wanted the Erin Condren for. Um, not necessarily for teaching, which is why it's going to be really hard for me to use that Happy Planner and not this one. We'll see. I guess, I guess it just depends. Um, anyway, so this is, this is the Erin Condren vertical layout. So this is new this year. Um, this, they've never had a vertical layout teacher planner before. So I'm very, very excited to see this. So if you get like my vegan cover the inside is like paper um it does have the asterisks i guess yeah you can see that very light it's a very 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 light gray i guess and then it's got the white um on it if you get a like plastic laminated cover it will have the dashboard that you can write on you can't write on the inside of the vegan covers um, so anyway, here's your vertical layout, which is what I wanted, and sadly, it has, I, I never, the only time I remember really upgrading my coil, I've, um, I've upgraded a couple times to the rose gold, I loved the black coil, I would, I would upgrade to the black a lot, um, and then they took away the black coil, so I don't upgrade anymore, because I just assume have silver, because I don't like gold, I don't like yellow gold, so, sorry. To each their own all right so this is the exact same in both planners you've got your communication log your uh, 18 month kind of at a glance you have your 12 months to plan in you have your graph paper all this is the exact same um, and then you also have your one two three and then your dates to remember page your month now this is where it changes okay so all that's the same all throughout the book the months everything that goes in front of the months all that stuff exact same but then you look at the new weekly layout and i love this like i love this and some of you may think it's exactly the same you still have six you know it's it's exactly the same the only difference is you have saturday and sunday now so if you look at this so these boxes are bigger so if I look you know side by side these boxes are bigger by a little bit but these I have one two three four five going down these there's six going down so for Friday but again if I look the other way I have six going across right you have six going across plus you have your extra column but here you have six going down and you can label it i don't know something i'm a vertical planner when i have like i've never like when i buy my life planner every year if i get once or twice i've tried to use a horizontal planner and i just can't i'm not a horizontal girl i can't do it Lesson planning, I can do it. it it's fine, you know, because I'm just, I'm writing in one thing in each box and I know what I'm doing and yada yada. But for planning for something like where I'm planning for my blogs and YouTube and all that stuff, I can put, you know, Whispers at Home. I can put Wonderlust of Mini Ears. I can put, you know, Pinterest for what I need to do on there. I can put uh, YouTube. I can put you know, Facebook where I've got my uh, Magical World Vacations and I'm doing my Disney planning. I can put that there for anybody I need to follow up with or ADRs or any of that stuff. I can separate it all and I can have it all on one page, like one open page spread. Cause right now I have like three planners I'm working out of because I've got one that's got my YouTube content and I've got one that's got my blog plans. And then I've got one that I'm, you know, plugging in people's, um, vacation so I can keep up with their dates and everything and if I could put it all on one double page spread and then I've got top priorities and meetings and then you've got a check sheet over here can you see this it actually has like little circles for you to check off I'm all about a checklist and and we have Saturday and Sunday which is not present in the horizontal layout there is no Saturday and Sunday and let me tell you ADRs land on Saturdays and Sundays. They just do because they're 30 days before check-in. And 30 days before check-in, depending on what day you're checking in, 
can be on a Saturday or Sunday. So sometimes I need to write that down and I can't do that in that planner. Um, I also, um, sometimes I work on my blog or I, I do posts like, or I do my Pinterest or, you know, there's times I work on stuff on Saturdays and Sundays. And so not so much on Sundays, but there is on Saturdays. Um, there's a lot of times I work on Saturday. So, um, this just makes my heart happy that I can, I can plug in, I can separate everything out and then I'm not overloading myself with saying, you know, I'm getting, I can only get so much done in a day, right? And this limits me on, if I have a full page spread for what I can do just on one or two blogs and I'm not looking at all the stuff I'm committing to for this other stuff, then I get way overwhelmed with myself. But if I can just look here and say, okay, I've got one thing to do in each box, I get those done, then I, you know, if I've got other stuff that I need to do, then I can move on to it. And if I don't, then I'm done for the day. And it's great, it's great. So, and this runs, and I love that it runs all year. It's not just, uh, you know, schools from August to May where I'm at. Um, this, this runs all year long. So see, I've got this side of the page, and this is so vertical layout, right? Because it goes like across. So anyway, I love this planner. I think it's gonna be great. Um, and even, you know, I'm doing the unconventional thing and not using it as a teacher planner probably, but it's a great teacher planner. So if you have, you know, reading, writing, spelling, math, science, social studies, you know, you can plug in your reading all the way across and your writing all the way across and your spelling or block one, block two, block three, block four, block five, block six and plug in everything that you need to do. And you should be great. So the rest of this is exactly the same um, as the other one. You have your month, you have your, you know, your weekly spreads. The back end is exactly the same. You're gonna have your checklists, just like you did in your other one. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't have, yeah, you have your stickers, four pages of stickers, you have your folder, and you have your um, page protector. Um, I don't get extras because I generally don't use them. Um, but you can get up to three page protectors. So if you have any questions, if you have never bought an Erin Condren life planner or teacher planner or notebook or anything in the past, and you are looking to buy one this year, um, I do have a, uh, just a referral code. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just a referral code. You get $10 and I get $10 if, um, you use my code. That's, that's all. Um, so you get $10 off if you use the code to my knowledge. Um, but anyway, it's been a while since I've used somebody's because I've been using Erin Condren and stuff forever. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. And I've got um, a van organization, like a car organization video coming up uh, next week. So be on the lookout for that and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye.